Hi guys, it's Sandy. Our dog, Josie Roo, she's two years old and she just had her first litter of puppies. So she's a first time mama and this was our first time ever helping uh, deliver puppies too. It is amazing to see. Uh, we had no idea how many she was gonna have so it was a total surprise. Nature just took over. You're gonna enjoy this. If you'll take just a second, hit that like button and subscribe below. It really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it. So this is the birth of our Brittany Spaniel puppies. We had 10 puppies and they all came out a different color, different um, markings on them, different sizes. They were beautiful. We had one very tired mama when it was done. But Josie started into labor. I left this part in here because I wanted you to hear. I, it totally took us by surprise. She is a first time mama and she did not know what was happening. And I don't know if it scared her or hurt her a little bit, but that's the only time that she did that after that. So we were worried at first, but she never did that again. So just in case you are somebody that's going to have puppies, your dog have puppies, I um, don't want you to be surprised by that also. And then the first puppy was born and she did her thing. We weren't sure how much we would have to help her, but nature took over almost all the time. Sometimes we'd have to break the sack, but nature took over mostly and she just starts cleaning until she gets the sack off of the baby. Now she is working to break the umbilical cord. You can see that she actually eats that until it comes off. And then what happens is just like a human baby, that umbilical cord would dry up and just dry, um, fall off later. We did trim them down to make them closer, but it, it just falls off. It dries off and falls off later. Girl or boy? Are you sure? Are you writing that down, Mom, all on that paper? She's going to have another one soon. So Josie continues to lick and just clean the puppy. I think she's trying to figure out um, what to do also, but nature takes over. Look at her trying to sit down, knowing that she needs to um, clean the puppy, but also feed the puppy. She just needs to kind of figure it out since she's an inexperienced mama here. Now Josie Roo starts panting again, so we knew that she is starting to have more contractions and she's going to have another baby, so we wanted to get the first puppy away and just keep it warm, put it into a towel. She stops there because she's hearing her baby making noises. The panting is the indicator that she's about to give birth to another puppy. We made sure to wear gloves just to keep everything sterile and also have enough towels to keep the new puppies warm. And now Josie automatically knows what to do to get ready for the second birth. Each puppy is born in its own sack and also has its own placenta and she just takes care of the job of getting that sack off and, um, and then breaking the umbilical cord and also then eating the placenta right afterwards. So we always gave her a few minutes to try to get the sack off and if we just got a little bit scared we would go ahead and break the sack off of the face. But she did a pretty good job and got off most every single one of them.
about 30 seconds to a minute she has the puppy already cleaned and it's up moving and then she just continues to clean and clean the puppy and we didn't have to ever clean them at all she did such a good job they would just um, get dry and be fluffy as soon as they were dry She continues to lick this puppy. It took her a little while to actually break the umbilical cord on this one. And then you can see that she's actually starting to pant again, which means that she's getting ready to have another puppy. Good job, Joe. Three. You can see where she chewed the umbilical cord off and then moves the puppy to where she needs to to get it clean the rest of the way. Three babies so far. Oh, there still looks like there's a bunch in there. I know. Yeah. That cord that you see goes to a heating pad. We put a heating pad in there so the puppies would stay really warm in between of each birth. And you can see how Josie just continues to do what nature does, which is clean her babies. And um, it this just keeps her stimulated also to keep having her babies. Josie is just resting in between a birth and the babies that were just minutes and an hour old are already nursing right away. We bought those collars off of Amazon so that whenever they came out we'd be able to identify each puppy by putting a collar on them. We could see Josie starting to have another contraction, so we took the first puppies away and got them warm while she was ready to give birth again. And you can see that now she starts to sit down to have her baby. She actually sits down whenever they're coming out. We had no idea how many puppies Josie was going to have. I had guessed six. And as you can see, so far we have had five. Those sweet little puppy noises as they try to eat and you can see Josie starting to pant again. It was harder to film some of the births because she would sit down and you could barely see the puppy coming out. This one we named Domino because of the spots straight down her back. After she would clean her puppy, she would usually clean herself too. You can see that the little yellow collared one is wet right now, but she will be dry and fluffy in a minute. So now we have seven and you can see that five of them are trying for the same nipple. We removed all the puppies from nursing so she could have her next puppy. This process looks like it's only taking a few minutes in this video, but she had a puppy about every 30 minutes. Mm. That's a good girl, Jess. So she stands up on this one and the puppy comes out and then she sits down to start cleaning it.
You can see the umbilical cord still attached where she's trying to bite that off. So this is puppy number nine and we thought maybe she was done because after like number six, we could still feel like a bulges in her belly knowing that she had more puppies, but we were wrong. Puppy number 10 was born 30 minutes later. He's the one on the very end, the light brown one with the turquoise collar. And once we got them all cleaned up, put her in her actual whelping box and had the clean bedding, this is one tired mama who's ready to sleep.